видео подготовлено и приведено специально для проекта блококамни.ру. Hello there and welcome to Natural Stone Systems Do It Yourself Granite TV. Today we're going to start uh, on episode one in a spot that might not make the most sense, but uh, since I'm running the camera, uh, it's going to be where I'd like to start. So we're going to talk about rotting. Rotting is what you do to structurally improve granite. And the spots that you would do it, you can choose to do it wherever you'd like. Where it's most commonly done are uh, in fragile, thinner pieces, or uh, in the front and the back of stovetop cutouts or sink cutouts. So when I'm rotting, I'm going to do a lot of this stuff in real time. I'm not going to stop the camera. I want you to see exactly how long it takes to do these specific things. So if you are doing this yourself, you know the amount of effort and the amount of time that it's going to take to accomplish this task. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to introduce what is a rod. The rod that I'm going to use is a three-quarter inch, or I'm sorry, a, a one-quarter inch piece of all thread. Now this all thread here is about 36 inches long. The tool that I'm going to use to rod is an angle grinder, and you can use any brand that you'd like. And I'm going to use two different blades. The reason why I'm going to use this one, and this is a rotting blade, and you can get rotting blades from any granite supplier. And I'm going to start off by using that one so that you can see if it's something that, uh, that you'd like to use. And then lastly, to finish it out, I'm going to use just a regular blade so you can see what it would take if you were going to do rotting and you needed to do it the most uh, cost-effective way that you could. So here we are. We're going to start out. The first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to get the all thread. We're going to put it right where we'd like to have it be. I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to mark that line and I'm going to go past it just a little bit. So the only thing that I have done here is I've put a line on the back of the granite. So we're going to start rotting. So first, like I said, we're going to start with the rotting blade. And then we'll switch over to the regular blade. So as you can see here, real time, real blade, real dust. So we're going to switch over to the regular blade and we will finish this out. Okay. And then I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Actually, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so with the rotting blade, you can see that what it did is it just created a channel the right width so that that all thread goes right in. Okay, And the only thing that you want to be careful of when you are doing it is you just don't want to go too deep. If you go too deep, is that a problem? Uh, the answer is absolutely. Okay, so now
get the camera and show you what I did. Here what we've got is I just cut, so I transitioned over. Right here you can see is where we were using the rotting blade. We switched over now and I just made two grooves uh, on the outside of that line there. So, now that I've got those, all I'm going to do is take this blade. work it back and forth. So here's what you'll see. Right here is where we switched over and we transitioned over to the other one. So can it be done with both kinds of blades? The answer is absolutely. So the rod fits in nicely 36 inches down this 4 inch piece of uh, granite. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to glue it in. So what you want to do is make sure that this is very well cleaned out. A couple of things that the glue will not stick to are dust and water. So I can get an air hose, I can get uh, some denatured alcohol or some acetone to clean that out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue it. Okay. So to glue this, we are going to take a polyester adhesive, and I like flowing, and I already know that it takes about a half cup. So I'm going to take that. You can see here I've got about a half cup worth of glue. This is the hardener. It's 100 to 1. I'm going to go just a little bit strong. And now I'm going to mix it up. One of the things you want to make very sure of that you do is mix your adhesive well. Now this glue, the only thing I'm not going to show you in this video is exactly how long it takes for the glue to set. And that can vary. It can vary uh, based on temperature and how much hardener you have. But it should take about uh, about 10 minutes for this glue to get hard. Um, and if you're doing this, here's why I like flowing. Before you put the rod in, I'm going to pour a bead and get the bottom of that channel nice and full. I'm going to take the rod. Drop it in. I'm going to push it down. And then, lastly, I am going to top it off. For the rotting to be effective, the thing that you need to make sure of that you do is you need to make sure. that that rod is totally encompassed in the adhesive, okay? So, let's take a look at this. Here's what we've got. We have got the adhesive and the rod. The rod is totally submerged. And the only thing that we want to make sure of that we do now It doesn't really make a big difference if you do this or not. It just makes more sense to do it now because it's easy. Wipe it down so that you don't have a big bubble there. Because if you're using this for, uh, it's going to be a sink run. You just need to make sure that you don't have something that's holding that sink run, that edge up in the air. Okay. 
So now that we've got that, here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch gears, and I'm going to show you why it is important to rod. Okay? So what we've got here is I have a piece of granite, three quarters inch of an inch thick. We're going to stack bricks up on here. This one is not rotted. And we're going to see what it takes to break that piece of granite versus this one, the exact same size, exact same width, but this one has the rod in it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to start stacking these bricks. I don't know what they weigh, but what I do know is that it is pretty heavy. Three bricks. Four. And I'll tell you, I'm not exactly sure what the results are going to be, so we will be surprised together. So you can see here, it's rotted. We've got that same quarter inch all thread that's in here. That piece was 37 and a quarter. This one is 37 and a quarter. And they're both just about four inches light for width. So, placed in the same spot, and we will start stacking bricks. and we will keep stacking. One, two, three, four, five, eight, Thirteen. Fourteen. So here's what I'm saying about cheating. So right now, you be the judge. Is rotting worth it? Why would you rot? The reason why I would rot is because if I'm going to install my granite, I need to make sure that uh, I can get it from point A to point B without a problem. And that's what this does. So we doubled, more than doubled the amount of bricks that we put on there, and we still haven't had a problem. So let's go ahead and cover this. We're going to take a look. And you tell me, is rotting worth it? So that is episode one of Granite Natural Stone Systems do-it-yourself granite television. Go ahead and leave some comments. Uh, let us know some things you'd like us to address. Uh, we're going to be dealing with, in future episodes, polishing, cutting out sinks, undermount sinks, cooktop cutouts. Let us know what you'd like to uh, have done first, 
and if this was something that helped you out. We appreciate you coming and viewing our channel. Если вам понравилось видео, ставьте лайки, подписывайтесь на канал, заходите на мой проект блога ко мне.ру и присылайте идеи для новых видео. Продолжение следует.